let me ask you a question here. Let, let's say we've got a pack of play, uh, playing cards. If I were to randomly pick one card here, what is the probability that this card here would be a heart or a uh, or a three? Okay, so so a three or a um, a, a heart. So if, if if you look at this uh, this packet of playing cards here, if if you pick out, let's say, if you pick out this card here, uh, even though it's not a heart, it is a three, so it is a good outcome. Let's say you pick this card here, uh, a seven, even though it's not a three, it is a heart, so it's a good outcome. Basically, I want to I want to know what is the probability of me getting a a a, a number three or a heart. Okay, so this this one here would be a bad outcome because it's neither a three or a heart. Whereas this one here, even though it's not a three, it is a heart. So this one here would be a good outcome. Remember, I'm only picking one card. So um, press pause and, and think about it. Um, yeah, pr press pause and think about it. Okay, so so the probability of of uh, get, of us getting a three uh, or or a heart. Well. Uh, my guess is that most of you would, would do this. Uh, you, you, you would do this here. Probability of you getting a three. Well, probability of you getting a three would be uh, four out of uh, out of fifty-two. And then you you would argue that the probability of you getting a uh, a heart uh, is uh, thirteen out of uh, out of uh, out of fifty-two. And then, and then you you would argue that oh when is an or when is an and you you times when is an or you add so here it's a three or a, a heart so you you would argue that oh now now we just got to get this plus this so the probability of a three or a heart equals well th this fraction here plus this fraction here the two denominators are the same. So, uh, so it stays the same. So this would be uh, 17. So, so my guess is that your guess would be this, um, but it's it's not actually correct. It's wrong because if if you look at this here, uh, hang on. W what is the probability of you uh, getting a heart? Well, getting a heart would be 13 here, okay. And w what is the probability of you getting a three? Well, the thing is, most people they, they would they would get well get Add it to four, but the thing is, they've included this three twice, so it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Because in order for you to do this here, uh, you've got to get thirteen here, and then plus, uh, plus these two here, and plus this one here. So it would be thirteen uh, uh, over fifty-two. Add well, add only three here because you, you've, you've already included the three with the hearts. So, um, so don't count this three twice. Uh, so, so it, w it would be three out of, uh, so out of fifty-two. So, so the answer should be sixteen out of, um, out of fifty-two. Because if you think about it, um, if, so this this here represents a whole packet of playing cards. Um, if you were, well, what what cards would give us a good outcome? It would be one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, so there are sixteen possible good outcomes out of the fifty-two. So, the probability of you getting a uh, a three or a heart e equals this. Don't count this three twice. Um. Well, all all the probabilities uh, in uh, in in all the videos before this, they are what's called mutually exclusive in the past. Uh, when this here is, uh, there's, there's an overlap. So this is not, not mutually exclusive. Okay. All the ones that I've given you in the past, like for example, let's roll, roll a die. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, all these, they're, they're, they're all, they're all, uh, separate. They're all, they're all mutually exclusive because th there's no overlap. You you can't have an event where where it satisfies both one and two. Whereas if you, if you look at this playing playing cards here, you've got this. There's a possibility that there's there's a it's possible for for this to be a heart and a three. Whereas if you look at the die one two three four five six, um, 
it's impossible for you to to have an event where you have a, a two and a three. It's always a two or a three. You, you you either get a two or a three. You can't you can't roll a die and get a two and a three at the same time. Whereas this situation here, you can pick a card. You can have an event where you can have both a three and a, a heart. So so with a die, it's a mutually exclusive. Uh, it's mutually exclusive. Whereas this packet of cards, it's mute. It's it's not mutually exclusive. Okay. Um, I I will give you more examples of this um in the next video. Okay. So just just bear that in mind. Here you you've got an overlap. So so when there's no overlap, like a die, all the events are mutually exclusive. It means there's no overlap with the die. Whereas this one here, this one here is is not mutually exclusive. Okay, just bear that in mind, but don't, don't worry about it too much. I'll I'll give you more examples, and then it, it will make sense. Okay.